Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are in full swing for sick week. Um, we are in, I mean, relentlessly getting ready for this. Just been nonstop checking over the car, checking everything we have, um, trying to go through everything we have in tubs. And I'll show you all that. Just going to kind of make a quick video, kind of show you what's going on um, and kind of what it takes in my eyes to even prep for an event this big, especially because we're going to be 11 to I think it's 11 or 12 hours away from home so it's not like we can just ride home and pick something up so uh so guys if you're somewhat new to the channel you don't know a whole lot about the car twin turbo 5.3 7875 4l80 uh ptc converter <clears throat> rossler trans brake so on and so forth um the car is pretty much ready We've made a few small changes. I've got plugs sitting over there for it. I got to pick up two more sets of plugs and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but pretty much everything on the, this side has been done for a little bit. We made one small change, um, changed some turbo drains and stuff because they were starting to leak. And I'll show you that, but the main thing is gonna be what's over here in the trailer and just some of the prep that it takes for sick week and you know, or really any drive and drag. So we'll go over there and kind of show you what we got going on right now so guys if you look at my first tub here i have an oil drain uh sealed container so that you can drain it seal it up put it back in the trailer if you look here we've got coolant oil more oil brake clean some trans stop slip that i put in the transmission all the time anyway one thing of gear oil which we got three more i've got to put in there brake fluid glass cleaner a torque wrench just in case we have to pull the head um that's just the basic fluids we got a few more small things we're going to put in there you get into one of the tubs here we've got multiple spare belts uh oil filter a spare can bus or a module for the holly aisle module um some of the stuff in here we probably won't be able to use anymore i have a spare fuel pump down there in case of emergency but it won't work with the aeromotive that i have on there we got some spare vacuum line no, I guess not vacuum, but boost line. There's a brand new set of spark plug wires down there um, that you have to build. If you go up here, we'll put this over here. Ignore these spark plugs, they're older. I need to take them out, but we got a uh, spare map sensor, some filler gauges, some buttons here for the bump and stuff, spare mic valve, spare zero to 100 transducer, silicone you know your basic stuff here spare water pump gaskets just in case come over here we got spare rocker arms push rods this is all just used stuff out of engines um coils o2 sensor you know your essentials here zip ties out you know crazy amounts if you look up here we've got spare fuel injectors um spare push lock stuff let's see then we step over here you know we got a lot of basic tools all cheap stuff just in case something was to happen and then i got the, the toolbox up there also um, we've got electrical stuff in here all the pin outs and their pins and stuff like that just in case of an emergency and as you can tell i got extra totes because i keep putting them in one tote and then we decide no that one's not going to work so we had to change it um, i got my drag wheels and tires here i have a brand new set of tires in the house we're going to change those so let me go back to the other tool bin so you look in the other tool bin i have a whole bunch of ratchet wrenches and stuff down in there all my milwaukee stuff my milwaukee blower just in case we have to keep the trains cool um, enough milwaukee batteries and my snap on ratchet and stuff i think that's it in there if you look in the back of the car i've got the drag wheels in there they still got to go in the trailer um that's from when we just brought it back home a little bit ago so i need to get those in the trailer where they're supposed to go and if you look at the car it's a mess still inside outside um, it needs to be vacuumed cleaned but we'll get to that so guys i'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the trailer um still the same trailer we used last year 200 dollar trailer i converted uh, we painted it black to match the car it's not perfect but i don't care for what we're using it for it's dirty i gotta get it cleaned but i got some gloves knee pad up there 
my tire pressure gauge, spare bearings for the trailer, sockets for the car in the trailer, scrub wipes, these are essential. Um, I've got these things here. These are aluminum plates. And uh, what I use them for is my uh, jack stands. Put the jack stands on them. Keeps them from sinking in the ground. Um, of course, giant pry bar. And of course we got room up there, but there's nothing up there right now. Trailer's empty um, until I get closer to time. Paper towels, essential. Um, not a lot to the trailer. We didn't really change a lot on it. Um, we got a video of being built last year or whatever. Um, same thing as last year, really. Gonna mount my tires right here on the rack. I'll show that later. We got two fuel jugs. I'm hoping we have enough room to put two more fuel jugs. Um, if not, they're gonna have to go in the trailer because what I found out is E85 is harder to find in Florida. So we're gonna take 20 gallons with us and figure it out from there. And then there's Joe. He always disappears on me. But that's really it of all the stuff. So kind of gives you an idea of what, what you have to have for sick week. So guys, I just kind of want to make a quick video of it. Um, like I said, we're pretty much done, wrapped up. We got less than a month. We, I think we got just a couple weeks. And like I said, if you look here, the car is pretty much done. Um, like I said, new plugs. Pretty much put the hood back on after I wipe it down. There's a lot that goes into this. I just want people to understand that, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, I'm enjoying seeing how many people are actually getting into this. So it's actually getting harder to get into the events. I'm super excited that I got into sick week. Hopefully I can get into actual drag week too, which is the goal. We'll see. Um, I don't know if that'll happen or not, but that's kind of the goal for now, um, for the year. So, you know, it's January. Unfortunately, I wanted to drive the car, but being there January, we've had nothing but bad weather. And then now we got sleet and rain coming back in tonight. So I guess I'm not gonna be able to drive it again. I want to do some testing, just cruise it, but fortunately we didn't get to do that. So guys, if you would like, subscribe. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, um, pretty much almost anywhere, TikTok. Pretty much almost all, almost all the social media platforms I have. So guys, I really appreciate all the support. Um, we should have more videos coming soon. I got to go film down at Joe's house, the Regal from like last year. Um, it's getting done finally. And then I'm gonna post another video of an, old, an older video that I never got to, uh, my buddy Mark's truck that we worked on. Um, so y'all can see it's being built. Unfortunately, I never got to, I got the film, I got it filmed and I never got to get it edited and out. Um, I got too busy, too much other stuff going on. So we'll get to that and we'll talk about it. But guys, I appreciate it, like, subscribe. Till next time, we'll see you later.